Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Anyways, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net for all your tea sipping needs or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And please don't forget, we still have some holiday tea boxes left. Thank you guys so much to everybody who's caught one. They are selling like hotcakes. I truly appreciate it. We still have some left. So if you're interested, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the videos. All right, you guys, so it's time to spill some more tea. So I hope y'all got y'all's damn teacups ready, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys are on my Instagram, you guys know I've been giving y'all updates on the whole Summer Bunny situation. Summer Bunny is the girl who cheated with Offset and she is definitely trying to stretch her 15 minutes worth of fame, okay? So before she got her Instagram deleted again for like the hundredth time yesterday on Instagram, and ah, she was dragging Cardi B. This entire situation's a hot damn mess. They've been going back and forth for the past 24 hours, okay? So what initially happened is that Summer Bunny went on to the cruise show and she basically said what Tigro Damas told ya, honey, a few weeks ago when her ass was on TMZ crying tattoo tears. Man, when I told y'all that shit was fake, she was just looking for sympathy. She was not being sincere. So what she has going on um, with her husband, and um, I'm very sorry that this was this has happened. Well, on the cruise show, she just took back her apology to Cardi B. She says that she's not apologizing. She's tired of, you know, Cardi B coming at her and all this other stuff. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this snippet, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So, okay, so, and then you go on TMZ, or, or you release the video, right, where you're saying, you know, you're basically apologizing to Cardi. We all saw the video, right? I just want to set the record straight go about ahead. the whole apology video. At this time, like right now, I really just, like, take that apology back. Who in the entertainment industry has actually, like, stood by your side and has, you know what I mean, they, they ride for you and... Nobody. Wow. Are you serious? Really? Oh. My feelings be hurt. No, no I, get I get that it. That sucks. That sucks. Yeah, it sucks. I get it. Who's but trying you, to beat, though? But the tables will turn. You know that. It Ta sucks. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm sure your DMs are popping as well. Are you okay? Yeah. It just sucks. Like, it's not fair to me. It's really not. You but feel outcasted? You feel blackballed? I just feel like, you know, like the whole world is against me, but it's like I always believe like I'm 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 so strong in this. Like I'm so sorry I'm breaking down. Honey. Okay, so you guys just watched that clip. So after that clip went viral all over social media, Cardi B posted a picture of herself in these really cool tennis shoes. And basically this is what Cardi B had to say. So Cardi B says, bitch, sit down before I sit you down. Then after Cardi B posted that, then Summer Bunny started throwing subliminal shots. And so this is what Summer Bunny had to say. So Summer Bunny said, sitting on my way to your nigga. So then folks started dragging her. So then she started talking more shit on Instagram. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Then she says, call me Summer B since I love fucking with married cheating men. Then she says, anybody want to fight? Y'all talking too much shit for me. Then she says, I can fight. Cardi can't. Then she says, clout make my pussy wet. Got Kiari drowning. And we all know Kiari is Offset's real name. Then she says, the main one's talking shit. Pussy leaking herpes juice. So she was just downright being disrespectful. But now if that wasn't bad enough, she took to uh, Instagram like... So now, if that wasn't bad enough, she went live and she started dragging Cardi some more. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Because I'm the queen of the press, bitch. I heard your press, bitch. You better check your press list. Uh, uh, you got to do, uh, do the dog whistle. Oh! Uh, Hold up. Pretty cute. I'm so bored. I'm so bored. <sighs> Let me go in the booth while y'all on here. Let me get in the booth while y'all on here. Y'all. Post, I always you know, want to talk shit. Go away. I always want to bring you now. It'll go away. So with that being said, people don't want me to post. Like, why you 
doing it. I want a power. I just want to post a picture. You know what I said. That's all. Today was a good day. I got my Instagram deleted. Probably gonna get this page deleted. Like, can I just have my Instagram back? Can I just have my normal life back? Like, at this point, you just doing too much. Like, I'm 20 years old. Like, come on now. Like, I could be your little sister. Like, just get back with your man and stop playing. Like, stop. You're going back and forth with me. Wait. Like, it's just enough. Like, you trying to stop. Like, got a phone call. Like, everything that you try to do, like, I know. So just stop, like just leave it alone, like stop everything, just stop, leave me alone, like what else can you ask for, what else do you want from me, like I said sorry, that wasn't enough, so you go on Instagram, talking, doing all this, like it's it's crazy, like you really taking me, I guess because I am 20, and I showed a side, like I showed that I was a genuine person because I am, you know, I'm not, and then that's another thing, then when I say like, oh, Forget the apology if you want to. And why you you was apologizing? Like yeah, because I'm a genuine person. Like that's the like that's how I really felt. So has Cardi been in touch with you? No, personally, or just like through her social media. That's how she's kind of like having back in a way. Yes. Subliminals, okay. all the subbing. I hear. Saw that clip of her ranting and raving and going crazy. So then what ended up happening is that Cardi B went off on social media. She did not say Summer Bunny's name. She was basically calling out the Shade Room and Kyle and all these other people. Once again, ranting and raving as opposed to just, you know what I'm saying, living her damn best life. Y'all go ahead and check this shit out. You know when I stopped telling the Shade Room to stop posting me? Because they used to post me four or five times a day. And people always used to claim and tell me like, oh, you guys, you used to, you pay the shade room, you, used to, you pay the shade room. And the shit they used to get me tell you is, because I didn't want them to keep posting me every single fucking day, four, five, three times a day. Like, it's like, bro, just chill. God damn, I could make a joke and these motherfuckers will post it. They will post me for everything. So then... And they didn't listen to me so i got into an argument with them and i told them don't fucking post me ever again don't post me i don't want y'all posting me i right, period then they fucking hired this little bitch ass nigga named kyle that don't fucking like me want to act like oh i like you this and that nah y'all niggas is biased as fuck i don't give a shit right schemo you know i used to be tight all right Bias as fuck. Don't like me. Don't do none of this shit. And this is my thing, right? Without no curse words. And I see that y'all shadow ban me because one of your fucking workers don't, didn't used to like me. So he used to fucking play manipulative ass games with me. And now that he don't work with y'all, y'all think shit is all good and dandy. Now fuck y'all and suck my dick. Stop posting me, bitch, because I will death smack the shit out of you. I don't give a fuck. I'm really tired of people thinking that they, they could play games with me because I'm fucking famous and because people could sue me and shit. I don't give a shit. I'm sick and tired of people attaching my name with them for fucking clout. All these niggas, all these bitches, all these fucking bloggers, I'm sick of it. I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers. Everything I do, I be minding my business. I can't even fucking write a comment. I can't even write nothing without a dusty ass bitch attaching herself to something that I write. Get off my shit. My God, I, I fucking earned my name. Y'all bitches need to fucking earn y'all name with y'all own motherfucking talent. And finding my business, I can't even fucking write a comment. I can't even write nothing without herself to something that I write. Get off my shit. My God, I, I fucking earned my name. Y'all bitches need to fucking earn y'all name with y'all own motherfucking talent and what y'all motherfucking do. I don't mention you bitches. I don't fuck with you bitches. Get my name out your fucking mouth. Y'all think y'all gonna be walking around doing interviews, attaching my, yourself to my fame? Get off my dick. On oh God, get off my dick. That's the thing. I be chilling, and then when I fucking react and smack the shit out of one of these hoes, oh, then I'm all over the news, then I'm getting sued, then I'm this, then I'm that. Because people don't see how people be provoking me and poking me. Use your own motherfucking name. I fucking earned my shit. I worked hard for my shit, so y'all bitches need to get the fuck off my dick. Period. Everybody always want to say, Cardi, Yola, Cardi this, Cardi that. But Cardi, fuck I'm at. Point blank. Sick of it. I'm the ass bitch, but y'all always gotta constantly use my name. Always. 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 Get the fuck out of here.
All right, so you guys just saw the back and forth. You guys saw what Cardi B had to say yesterday. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Like I said on Instagram, at this point in time, I've never seen a celebrity take the social media and continuously air their grievances. It just doesn't make any sense. All she's doing is giving all these haters and all these folks who dislike her, all she's doing is giving them more energy, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to, you know, being like Beyonce and just ignoring the fuck shit and focusing on her daughter and on her music and on everything else. So today, as you guys all know, she just dropped her money music video. So that just premiered about two hours ago. Um, for the most part, it's getting a lot of really good reviews. A lot of folks are feeling it. So like I said, at the end of the day, Summer Bunny is definitely trying to get her 15 minutes worth of fame. She's going to keep on creating Instagram accounts. She's going to keep on coming at Cardi in hopes that Cardi's going to eventually mention her name, which we all know nine times out of 10, Cardi B will do because that's what she does. She takes everything to social media. You know, I feel like once you get to a certain level, you have to stop letting things bother you. And for whatever reason, Cardi B just does not know how to just let things go and move on and just focus on what she needs to focus on and not even acknowledge people like summer bunny because all she's doing when she's throwing some liminal shots at her and saying things to her all she's doing is just basically fueling the fire and giving her what she wants so i think cardi b needs to just you know keep to herself figure out what she wants to do between her and offset and focus on her music and stop throwing some liminal shots at this chick okay all right you guys so i want to do an update really quick so shortly after cardi b's music video dropped today tmz posted about an hour ago that there's been a damn christmas miracle basically cardi b has been seen riding on a jet ski with offset okay so this is what tmz's reporting they're saying that cardi b was all over offset on friday hugging him you might say hanging on for dear life cardi and offset were vacationing in puerto rico it's a real high sign his full court campaign to win her back his work witnesses tell tmz that they seem very much like a couple as they laughed and played on in the deep blue sea they were with friends no signs of culture but it's a safe bet that she was there we don't know for sure if cardi has taken offset back but there have been signs for more than a week that the ice is thawing. He crashed her stage at the Rolling Loud Music Festival in LA last weekend, and she was clearly not receptive, but it looks like things have changed. The fact is Offset wants to be together for at least part of the holiday. Cardi is scheduled to do a show in Sydney, Australia for New Year. So that is what TMZ is reporting. I can't say that I'm shocked in the least. A lot of people are now saying that this was for publicity. Her video dropped the same day, and now these pictures are popping up on TMZ with her on Offset. You know, was this a publicity stunt? So a a lot of folks are talking like I've said before if she chooses to go back to him that's on her I don't want to hear nothing else if she chooses to leave him that's also on her at this point in time I'm over the whole breakup makeup running to social media you know starting to be a bit much so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again, concerning Summer Bunny taking her apology back from Cardi B, her going off on her and trying to get a reaction out of her on social media, and then Cardi B basically reacting and throwing shots at her. And then last but not least, what do you guys think about the Money Music video? Are you guys feeling it? Are you not feeling it? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.